They call it the Lenovo Yoga Aura Edition, and in this video, let's unbox it. This is the de facto premium Windows laptop. If you're looking for a laptop that's pen compatible, has killer performance, great build quality, look no further than the Lenovo Yoga 9. They also make the 7 version, which is a little bit more of a basic model. This is going to come at a more premium price point, have a higher resolution display. And so this to me is the laptop for anybody who's into graphic design, photography, digital art, and does a little bit of video editing on the side because with the Intel Core Ultra 258V, you have some solid performance. And this model comes with 32 gigs of RAM. So great multitasking, great playback in the timeline. This is something that you you definitely want to consider. It is a bit more of on the expensive side, but it is well worth the price. And right now there's a lot of back to school sales going on right now with the recording to this video. So I would head down in the description below, click those links, check the live pricing. If it's on sale, I'd highly consider making a purchase before those deals scurry away. All right, enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and dive into the full unboxing. We'll look at the charger block here first. We have a nice modest size charger block. I believe this will be around a 60 to 90 watt charger block. Oh, me. All right, 65 watt hour charger block, nice and compact. You can literally just like throw it in your pocket. So that's a great consolidated package. All right, next let's move on to the actual device. As you can see here, beautiful metallic text on the top. We have this recycled material. It's a, almost a heathered material. And then the nice red pop on the bottom. So Lenovo doing a great job keeping the materials professional, recycled, really digging this packaging so far. All right, jumping over here to the top camera, gonna go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and get this out of the box. So this isn't a box, this is wrapping. I don't know how people play like instruments and sing at the same time. I am not a good multitasker, let me say that. I can barely talk and review something at the same time. So there it is, the Yoga 9. Man, these get more beautiful every year. Remember, this is the Aura Edition, so it's going to have higher performance. And this comes with the speaker bar, the Bowers and Wilkins speaker bar, so better audio. That's a, a standout difference between the Yoga 9 and the Yoga 7. The Yoga 9 comes with the bar. All right, on the side, we have a USB Type A, two USB Type Cs. And you can see those are Thunderbolt ports. Those will be Thunderbolt 4. We've yet to see Thunderbolt 5 make it to thin and light devices, hopefully soon. And then an additional, looks like just a straight USB-C on this side. So you got your Thunderbolts on the left, regular USB-C on the right, with your headphone jack and your power button. Now going ahead and looking at the bottom of this device, you can see one thing that I love about these yoga devices is they are fit together so nicely. These edges are just absolutely refined really smooth, no catchy edges. And then you have your bump bars here for the bottom of the chassis and those three points. Now I will take off the bottom cover at the uh, near the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned to that. And of course you can see as I move this around, you can see there's a fan here and a fan here. So we have a dual fan system, good cool laptop, especially the performance that you'd be pulling out of this device. And then lastly, another view of the top cover there. All right, let's go ahead and open the device with one hand. We'll move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. And, and it fell. Okay. All right, switching over. Opening the device with one hand. Slides a little bit there, just as I'm trying to get grip on the lid. But opens and closes easily with one hand. And of course, we have the two-in-one compatibility. Looks beautiful. There's our full view of the inside. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat for the 2025 model, matte keys. In the past, these have not been matte. These have been more of a shiny material. Feels really nice on my fingers. Uh, you can see we have a fingerprint reader here. You can control the performance setting. You can control the audio settings. And we'll have to figure out what those two buttons are during the full review. Also, the webcam up on the top bezel. I'm going to give you a sample of that webcam so you can see for yourself what it looks like and what it sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga 9 2-in-1 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Pretty solid looking webcam, I must say.
Now we're going to go ahead and power the device on, see if we have enough battery to get it powered up. <clears throat> and while it's powering up, keyboard is quiet. Not going to be loud for your neighbors. Let's check the trackpad. Trackpad does have a bit of a click noise to it. So you can hear there, it's not a soft dampen click. It's a very much a traditional snappy click. So that sounds good, but it is a little bit louder. I would recommend if you're in a quiet office, just do the tap feature and that'll, that'll serve you well. But the keyboard is quiet, nice dampened, low minimal key travel. Now, as we're jumping in here, you can see we have the Intel Core Ultra 7 258V, as I mentioned, and this comes with 32 gigs of RAM. So you're gonna have plenty of RAM, plenty of CPU performance, for this device, as mentioned, you can be multitasking inside of Photoshop and Illustrator all at the same time, Photoshop and Premiere Pro if you're you know, doing creator tasks, and then also being in Google. So you know, running your web browser, whether it be checking emails, doing research, that 32 gigs of RAM is going to give you plenty of ceiling. That's something I see oftentimes with a lot of devices is they come with 16 gigs of RAM. And I have been seeing that 32 is kind of becoming my de facto of a minimum RAM capacity because when you're multitasking, the RAM gets chewed up very quickly. And so for this device, it is great that you have that 32 gig ceiling. Now, this is going to be a bit more on the expensive side. This device is going to be over $1,000. It's going to be actually, I think, around the $1,500 price point. Again, check the live pricing in the description below if you're curious about the exact pricing. And of course, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. So for that powerful CPU, for that 32 gigs of RAM for the premium chassis and the 2.8K display, this is a more pricey device. But as I mentioned, you can also go after the Yoga 7, and that'll give you a little bit better price point uh, if you're looking to save some money. But if you're looking for the Primo good performance device, this is definitely where you want to be looking. All right, there you go. You can see the panel. Beautiful, glossy display, 2.8K. Go ahead and flip over to the alternate view. Flips over automatically. You can see it cuts off use of your keyboard as well as your trackpad. So once you're in this view, you'll be simply using gestures or a pen. Now this but device does not come with a pen. However, you can grab a Lenovo pen. They're around $50, 50 to $80. And that is something that you can grab and utilize. So you can draw on the device very easily. Now, what I like to do a lot of times is go ahead and turn it into full tablet mode and you can draw on it this way, which is really nice. Um, but then also if you don't wanna miss out on your shortcuts, easily flip it back around, trackpad and keyboard turn back on. You can go ahead and rest your hand here and draw and have access to your shortcuts. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this laptop over and pull off the bottom cover to see what kind of upgrade opportunity we have. If there's SSD, if there's RAM, there's not gonna be RAM. Uh, if there's SSD and what, what that looks like. All right, if you're gonna take this bottom cover off, make sure you don't miss the secret screws that are under the back foot. I have missed those in the past and broken laptops, but this is crazy. This is a piece of aluminum. I mean, just look how thin that is. It's so thin, but that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just razor thin. So there's your bottom cover making the laptop nice and light. It's a great device. You can see we have two fans. Uh, we have our SSD here. It's a smaller form factor SSD, but the cool thing is that is upgradable. So if you get this thing with a terabyte, you say, hey, I want three, four terabytes, two terabytes, whatever it might be, you can go ahead and upgrade that right there. Uh, additionally, you have your battery here, which is a 75 watt hour battery. Awesome. In the past, we've seen 57 watt hours. So going to get even better battery life out of the 2025 version. I'm not saying the 2024 is 57, but I'm just saying in years past. So this battery has gotten a higher wattage to give you more on the go battery capabilities. So great device, simple upgrade path with that SSD, but it's great to see that you're not stuck with whatever uh, storage size that the laptop ships with. Again, links are in the description below if you wanna check the live pricing or make a purchase. Otherwise, I'll see you during the full dedicated review and performance that this here Yoga 9 2-in-1 is capable of. See you in the next one.